Hi, I want to talk a little bit about uh, my experience with gold leaf. And this is my very first gold leaf. And it really isn't gold leaf, it's gold metal leaf. And I was asked to teach that about 10 years ago. And I didn't know anything about this. And luckily, I was so happy, no one signed up. But I was left with all this metal leaf and after 10 years it had oxidized and I thought well I either throw it out or do something about it. So I made use of the oxidation because it has a nice look. First of all this is watercolor paper, a hot press. I put down black gesso, then metal leaf. Now gold metal leaf is much bigger, much thicker, and much easier to work with. Here is Stella and this is an example of uh, 23 karat gold leaf and it's very thin and the difference is $17 for 25 sheets and this is $70 for 25 sheets. Uh, after I got this glued down then what I did is I distressed it with my fingernail and uh, also put some antique glazing on. This was just an outline and this is Viking. He's a dressage horse and uh, 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 my uh, cousin's beautiful, beautiful horse. And this is from a photograph where she's riding the horse. So I blew it up quite a lot. And this is charcoal. Now this is Stella right here. This is oil painting. And Stella is, this was silver leaf. And I painted transparent oil on top of the silver leaf. And uh, this is uh, six, eight coats of oil and the reason why I had to do it so many times is it was very transparent and it had to be I wanted it uh, thicker but can you imagine doing this pattern not only once but eight times I was I really <laughs> that was very hard to do so uh, but she's a rescue from the Nohavi Desert she was found uh, starving she was on the small side and they didn't want her for racing but she's a lovely girl and she's uh, my neighbor Linda's uh, dog, uh, beloved dog, spoiled dog as you see.